All right, all right, all right. We back at this thing. You already know EE, Korean holding it down for the ones and twos. And I just let everybody out there know, like, Genesis, we believe in a good, friendly environment. Don't yeah. matter what you do, how you live, come through. You're going to have a good time, man. Smash Bros. very welcoming, very inviting scene. So I just want people out there to kind of know that if you're kind of on the fence about what we uh, what we do. Stuff yeah, like that. yeah. You know Smash Community, one of the nicest gaming communities ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's, some, there's some toxic ones out there. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you ever Smash been to a Rocket League tournament? Oh, Me yeah. either. Dang, but I read the Reddit. Anyway, no, <laughs> just play, just play. So here we go. We're gonna keep uh, keep things saucing up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my man Sandstorm up there looking kind of wavy, as you said. Uh, just got picked Newly up by picked Tempo up. Storm. Yeah. For his uh, his amazing work in Brawlhalla. I mean, he just dominates that game, and he's not bad at Smash by any means either. Oh yeah, uh, definitely one of the more dominating Shoto players. Yes. Um, I believe we did see a little Terry come out at DreamHack Atlanta, and I mean, shout out to. Again, Brawlhalla, he actually won both doubles and singles there. That's crazy, So, well-deserved sponsorship coming out from a very known team being Temple Storm. So, I'm, Temple I'm glad Storm got, that... Temple Storm got bread, bro. Yeah, and, and Temple... It, it's always... For me, it's always great to see um, these other Tier 1 orgs kind of commit more into Smash. You know what I mean? Just, you know, helping our community out. It's really awesome. And Sandstorm just getting things started real quick. Yeah, man. And we're going up against Duck Hunt Dog. So, you don't uh, see too much Duck Hunt representation, honestly, outside of Rido. Um, who I don't believe is at this event. So maybe um, Bunny can be the outlier. Okay, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, he's still got two stops. So. Yeah, that was quick. That was uh, mighty fast. <laughs> all right, and now the thing about Sandstorm, yes, look at all these early percent combos, and that is this, that is what Shotos are known for. Um, and now Duck Hunt has a good amount of multi-hits. The, uh, the can's going to be pretty good because the initial hit and then the explosion to break focus. Usually you want moves that break focus against Shotos, right? You, you want to be able to have that. And if oh, yeah. you don't know, focus is a unique move just for uh, Ryu and Ken where they have to they can eat up a hit, essentially, yeah. right? Unless you have like a multi-hit. Right, exactly. Which is exactly what you need to kind of counteract Man, that. But geez. I don't know if there's enough counteract <laughs> gameplay in the tank right now because Sandstorm is just eating this man alive. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, right now, Bunny is uh, looking like he's, it, it, it's tough. There, it's, it's hard to find an answer, especially if you don't know this matchup. The back air will close it out from the Clay Pigeon Confirm. Really nice stuff. He's down a stock, but we'll see if he can keep the Ken out. That's that's the main thing you got to do. Right. Sandstorm still trying to make his way in, taking some damage on the way. There's that multi-hit up air you're talking about, right? Something to break that focus. You just need something that hits multiple times. And once you hit the focus twice, it, it's broken. Oh, my God, bro. That was a great pickup at the ledge. He just sent them flying all the way out. And this is, I mean, I'm going to be honest. This Ooh. isn't looking like our boys got too much of a chance. I'm just going to keep is it, it real. It's kind of uh, when, when you start going back to the drawing board and start thinking about game number two. Right, right. This is more so just like I'm getting some info for game number yeah. two because just like that, Sandstorm going to confirm that down tilt right into the Shoryuken. And let me tell you, man, Shoryuken, whether it be Ryu or Ken, it packs a punch. No doubt about it, Move man. is so, so strong and is notorious for getting those early KOs, especially assisted with that rage, right? And Shotos are just known for being those heavy hitters or just, like, being heavy in general, right? So they can live to that, you know, 130, 150 mark kind of consistently if they don't get edge guarded, And then they come back, get that confirm into the Shoryuken, and you're you're probably dying at, what, like 70, 80%. You're having some problems. You're definitely yeah. having some problems, no doubt about that. So excellent uh this excellent play coming out uh, from Sandstorm. Uh, again, this guy's a multi-game threat, like very talented in Ultimate, best in Brawlhalla. I mean, the guy just holds it down. So uh, I always enjoy watching him play. Sandstorm got a, excuse me, Tempo Storm got a real winner in him. And it looks like actually got a force. Uh, okay, so we go from one underrepresented character to another in Isabel. That is a very different change. I mean, I guess Isabel's a zoner. So yeah, I mean, would, you, would you classify Isabel as a zoner? Yeah, because you set up the you set up the thing down, and then you start throwing out slingshots. Well, yeah, 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 if you call yeah, if you call villager a zoner, you call Isabel. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, I right, definitely think uh, villager is better, but Isabel definitely can be different in a lot of situations. You know what I mean? Um, they're very similar uh, in terms of just like general, like the fish, fishing rod is like one of the main moves that is really different. But oh my lord! I don't know if this change is quite it, Chief. I was like, this Izzy ain't getting busy. Yeah. Maybe getting a little dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Sandstorm is laying the hands. Man. It's just, Isabel's oh taking Lord. quite the beating, man. Okay, okay, we got the pocket. This is the worst <laughs> promotional ad for the new Animal Crossing I've ever seen in my life, bro. Just look away, folks. Just look away. Yeah, this is, this is bad. Okay, we got the fishing rod. We got the hook. 
Oh, wow, up tilt doesn't connect. And he, he was going for the ant. Oh, well, this is the kind of beat down that makes you wonder if those Build-A-Bear workshops come with little tiny coffins as well. Oh, Because yeah. this Isabel is getting buried. Yeah, this is this is looking bad. This, the stuff it might be coming out pretty soon. Goodness. Jeez. It is rough, man. Sa oh, okay, Lord. please, just oh, stop. Oh, stop, oh, Sandstorm, yeah. stop. We, we don't have to do oh, this. My goodness. Sandstorm, we don't have to do this, bro. He's still, he was dead. He was dead. He, was. he popped both the balloons, <laughs> and he just wanted to keep the suffering going. Sandstorm, please, can I have some mercy? Please. Oh, that was tough, man. That was tough. I did it. <laughs> you did it, all you right. You sure did, Ken. You just traumatized an entire <laughs> group of individuals watching that. You just lost Nintendo's themselves on the new Animal Crossing. How good, you, Ken? Isabel Amigos have been canceled. <laughs> oh, snap. Stocks are at all times. All right, well, I mean, Sandstorm showing good reason why uh, Temple Storm went ahead and picked this man up. Very, very talented player. Right. Of course, on the show, very combo-orientated player. Um, right. he, and he was, he played shows in the previous iteration of Smash and Smash 4. So, yeah, very, very commanding uh, entrance coming into Genesis, really showing off as his new sponsor. When you got the sauce, you got the juice, you just handle business, man. That's all there yeah. is to it. So uh, pretty much, to him. Pretty much uncontested number one player in Brawlhalla as well. So, I mean, shout out to him, man. Being able to play multiple of these platformers and finding success, definitely not something easy to do. You know what not I mean? At all. Not, not, not at all. Not in... Not in any shape, form, or fashion. So that was dope. That was fun to watch, obviously. Uh, I like this stream, man. We're kind of getting some uh, maybe some unconventional players popping up, you know what I'm saying, or unconventional characters. But it's, it's, it's enjoyable nonetheless. And, I mean, honestly, that's what you get when we're, when, when we're watching the stream or when you're guys watching the stream here at Genesis. Even round one pools are very interesting because Facts. the tournament is so big. There's so much entrance. You're going to see so much character diversity and so much, like, talent coming from different regions. So... Really fun to see. I mean, and like we usually see Sandstorm competing out in like East Coast stuff, or like we saw last time I saw him was DreamHack Atlanta. Yep. It's cool to see him come out here, uh, NorCal. So show us what you got, baby. NorCal is uh, obviously with Genesis, man. It's a true proving ground. So. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And I think it's interesting uh, to me anyway. Uh, right. From what I've from what I've kind of gathered at this event is that that the absence of like uh, a lot of the Japanese players, like I think that's actually it opens the door for so many different top eight combination yeah. of possibilities. You know what I'm saying? Like some of those spots that might be occupied by a Shuton or a Zach right, Gray right. Or, or a T, you know what I'm saying? Like that, those are just out the window right now because they're competing at uh, another tournament, Evo Japan. So Genesis is really just like, okay, well, you're an American, you know, player or European p player who came here, you know, obviously came from Mexico, something like that. Like this really be your time to kind of show up and show out. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And it, 